Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Tommy Truths. And yeah, in this episode, I just wanted to talk about ruminating, why we ruminate, and um, yeah, how, how we stop ruminating. And um, yeah, I think um, ruminating has actually been something that um, I have struggled with a lot, and I can continue to struggle with. In fact, um, I was even um, ruminating this morning and yesterday at church. Um, yeah, just um, I find... Um, I can remember about lots of different things, whether it's people, whether it's um, yeah, my savings going going down, or um, yeah, there's there's so many things that you can ruminate about, and so many things that you can dwell on in your mind. And so yeah, probably I should start by just saying what I mean by ruminate is um, yeah, just chewing and dwelling on something, um, on the same thing over and over again in your mind, and so. Um, Usually there's a negative connotation to that, so it's like you're, you're dwelling on something, not in a way that's bringing life, but in a way that's, um, yeah, you're just spinning and spinning and spinning in your mind about something. And so, um, yeah, like I said, I do that a lot. It's still an ongoing battle for me. It's one of my biggest struggles. Um, but it's also something that I think there is, um, I've seen a lot of growth in as well in my life, and I continue to grow. There's still plenty of room for growth as well in the future. Um, but um, yeah, so I'll share a few things that have helped me um, with, um, with ruminating. And so um, yeah, the first is um, I'll, I'll share a scripture that's encouraged me, which is Matthew chapter 6, verse 27. And it says, um, now who of you by being anxious, um, or, or who of you by, by ruminating, you could say, can add a single span to, um, a single cubit to your span of life? And so, um, yeah, I think this verse is very encouraging for me because, um, yeah, it, it reminds me that, yeah, ruminating actually doesn't actually do any good for me. Um, it doesn't actually add life to my life. Um, it doesn't, it does nothing, um, there's nothing life-giving in ruminating. I've, I've, when you look at the fruit, there isn't much fruit. Um, yeah, just to put it bluntly, there's not much fruit that comes from ruminating. And um, yeah, because I think a lot of the times we think that by ruminating we'll be able to resolve things in our minds and then we'll be able to feel a sense of peace afterwards. So it's like a false um, peace that comes only by solving things in our minds. And in reality, that's not how it works. We don't find peace by fixing things and fixing the thoughts up in our minds, but we find peace by... Um, yeah, let, letting, um, letting God to embrace us in the midst of our spinning, in the midst of our ruminating. And we find peace by, um, yeah, surrounding ourselves with people who we can share our burdens with and who can um, show us comfort. And, um, yeah, well, oftentimes we can also find peace by, instead of letting, dwelling on our own things that are going on in our minds, to, to think about someone else and think about how we can serve them, how we can love them, how we can encourage them. And so... Um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's another way that, um, yeah, it's, it can help to take us, because um, ruminating can make us very focused on our own problems, our own things that are going on in our minds. And there may be someone else around you on the, on the same table who is going through um, a lot of stuff, um, a lot of stuff in their life that um, they need encouragement with. And you can be a vessel that can encourage them. And so, um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think, that, that would be one of the things is like ruminating, it takes us out of the present moment in front of us. It keeps us in our head, it keeps us distanced from people around us. And so I found, yeah, oftentimes if I'm spinning, when I'm having a conversation with someone, it completely pulls me out of the conversation that I'm having. And so, um, yeah, so one of the things that, um, also in that same chapter, it talks about um, in chapter six, and this is Matthew chapter six, um, verse 34, it says, um, do not, so therefore do not be anxious, but um, yeah, um, about tomorrow, but um, sufficient for today is its, is its own troubles. In other words, um, there's so much, yeah, you don't need to be anxious about tomorrow because there's plenty going on right now that you can focus on. And, um, and so, um, yeah, it's a call to be present. It's a call to focus on, um, yeah, the people in your life, how you can love them well, how you can serve them well and encourage them to, to show Christ to them because, um, yeah, um, oftentimes we ruminate because we don't feel safe. We don't feel, um, like we're okay. And so, um, we, yeah, by, by ruminating, we're, we're essentially saying, well, I need to make sure I'm cared for. 
Um, but actually, um, in, if you look at in chapter, chapter 1 of Peter, um, so 1 Peter um, 5, 7, it, it says, um, yeah, that to cast your anxieties onto God because he cares for you. And so, um, yeah, when you have those ruminations come up, the, um, I think the first thing to do is to, to throw them onto God and to, to know that he cares for you. He, he loves you. He, um, he's compassionate towards you. And so, um, yeah, I think um, that's, the, that's the first thing is, is once you know that you're cared for, then you can then go and love someone else. You can then um, show, um, show care, show understanding, show compassion to someone else. And, um, and yeah, take your, take your eyes off your own, yeah, what's going on in your life and um, just for a moment and then, and then just, to, just to be able to, um, yeah, just to speak life into someone else's journey. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this Tommy Truths and um, I'll see you next time.